Hello everyone, this is Astocky here. Welcome to a, I guess you call this is a, is a tutorial video. This is basically uh, the install for my pack. So what you will get is you will get a astockyclient.zip file and basically I'm just going to extract that. You can put it anywhere you would like. This place suits me and it comes with a number of different files. And the first thing you have to do before you can play it is you actually will need to have a copy of the minecraft.exe file so we'll just copy that and paste it in there and you get that obviously from the minecraft website where you get minecraft from so <clears throat> once you get everything what you need to do is you just need to double click on this file here called install.bat and that will run the batch script that will walk you through the process of installing my pack so the first thing that it will do is you can see there you're about to run Minecraft for the first time so you just push spacebar basically what you will need to do is you will need to type in your username mine is a stocky then you need to type in your password and then you need to click login and it will log in and download the Minecraft packages so <clears throat> I was kinda of hoping this would go really fast so it wouldn't make for a boring video but basically this will grab all the current packages off the Minecraft server and once that's done it will boot up Minecraft and as of the point right now when I'm making this video that's version 1.2.5 this is however a mod pack for 1.2.3 so the first thing you do is quit come back to your command prompt window that's open and press spacebar and now what will do is it will open up MC Nostalgia so you can see that it pops up a window in the background if you haven't already got your browser open or if you have it just will add a new tab or, or do whatever like that for you it gives you an add fly link you need to save and you need to save that wherever you put the client so this is the file just here where the client was a stocky client so you save the MC nostalgia file to just there and you can close that window to go back as you can see it says now downloading press any key to continue so there you go you can see that it did some stuff in the background and now it's ready to run so this is important when it runs press enter then select option 89 which will ground downgrade to minecraft 1.2.3 and then when it's finished press enter again so quite simple here it is it's running press enter to see the downgrades there you are we want 89 which is 1.2.3 it will go to the website that it needs to go to, it'll get the patches, it'll apply the patches, and now it's done. And so now you can see that it's popped up with a new thing that says installer will now download the required mods from the developer's website. So basically you hit spacebar and it will pop up with mod loader, which is the first mod that it needs. And again, this is being downloaded from the developer's websites. It's created a downloads folder for you, so you just plop think I've done something wrong here yes I have a stocky client there you go it's an empty downloads folder you save the download there you can close the window bring this back up click on it again it pops up a new one I'm just going to move the screen over a little bit so that I can keep the focus on sort of both of them at the same time and not have too many issues <clears throat> so again it's not saving it where I told it to it should automatically once you save it once remember where you told it to save it to and then it should keep saving from now on all of the files into that folder so that was mod loader MP now it will do the same thing and it will give me forge so save file and again it's forgotten this is going to be quite annoying if I have to keep doing this so I'm thinking what I might do is copy that I think I'm going to have to do that a lot. <clears throat> this hasn't actually happened to me before. I think the reason it's happening now is I have a, a video in the background that's uploading that's causing some issues. So save. You want to go to here. Downloads. Save. And so I've <clears throat> worked out this takes about uh, probably 15 seconds per mod to download. 
so it doesn't really take all that long. Now this next one right now, you can see now downloading Optifine. This is important. If you don't want to download Optifine and don't you want to use Optifine with the pack, you can just close this now. The installer will detect that you haven't downloaded Optifine and it will just ignore it. If you do download Optifine, however, it will add it to the Minecraft file for you so that it's installed. Personally, I like Optifine, so I'm going to download it. So here we go. It's popped up. Save. Same process again. So now it's going to Buildcraft. Now there's five parts to Buildcraft, so it will download each part individually. And you can see it's going to the AdFly links for the developers, so the developers are getting the credit for downloading of this mod pack. What I think I might actually do is I'm going to use a download manager now, because this is just taking too long. So we'll go to Games, A Stocky Client, Downloads, and save it just there. And now hopefully if everything goes right, I should be able to hit Start, and it should just download the file. There we go, Buildcraft beautiful. Hope that will continue to work for me. The download accelerator won't always work, but hopefully in this case it will. <clears throat> so we've downloaded the next one, close that. Same thing again, so you in between each download, you just click back on this box here and click spacebar, and it brings up the next download for you. One of the issues with AdFly links is you can't just click them all and open them all at once. You need to do them one at a time. Because if you try to open more than once, it detects that you're not really looking at the ads and stops you. I don't think it's personally that big a deal. So there we go. That's the fourth now buildcraft. Up to the fifth now, which is the fifth out of five. <clears throat> so, you, you know, you can sort of see that unlike the last A Stocky pack that I was looking at putting together, that I was teaching people how to download, which took you know, like an hour for the video. This one is much, much, much quicker. Now, this next one is a little bit different. You can't link directly to the link for Industrial Craft because of the way they have it set up. So when you open it up, it takes you to the Industrial Craft website to the link for Minecraft 1.2.3 and all you have to do is just click download and then it will let you download it. So same thing again. This file will take a little bit longer to download but that doesn't matter. We can go to the next one. So now we're on to Red Power. Well, Red Power 2 actually. And it's in seven parts. So we have to do this for each part. And like I said, you're looking at about... 15 seconds per part, per part of the mod. So I think overall we should be looking at around about 15 minutes from start to finish from when you first unzip the pack to when you're finished installing it and you're playing Minecraft. It obviously will depend on the speed of your internet connection but generally it's it's really quite quick. Now for those of you who already are using the Technic Pack or are already you know, playing a vanilla Minecraft game, if you place and uncompress the A Stocky Pack into a different folder, it will run Minecraft perfectly out of that folder and won't impact on any of your other games or any of your other settings or any of your other worlds. So it's, it's completely standalone. It's been configured to run by itself as long as you launch it using the launcher that I've provided. <clears throat> because it is using the Minecraft executable, there's no need to worry about the security of any of this. You're downloading files from legitimate AdFly links that the developers have provided, so you're not downloading any corrupted files or anything like that. You're also not putting your personal Minecraft login or details into any kind of launcher system that I've set up. You know, you are using the real Minecraft launcher. I've just configured it to run from the folder you have the executable in instead of needing to run from somewhere else. So now we're doing, you can see it's changed to craft guide now, we're finished with red power.
So you can see over here all of my downloads are, are complete and working. Okay, now we're up to the Crushers mods. So you've got uh, Timber and then Nether Ores. And power converters. And mine factory reloaded. I guess I still refer to these as being the crushers mods, but the actual most recent version of these have been put out by Atomic Striker because the crush was there's some things going on and he hasn't been able to update them, so Atomic Striker's taken over just at least for a little while anyway. So the next one is Advanced Machines for Industrial Craft. And now I believe Advanced Machines requires you to have Java 7 installed. So if you have any issues with the game playing, that could be because you don't have Java 7 installed. So then there was the Compact Solar mod and the Industrial Craft 2 thermometers, which allow you to check the temperature of your nuclear reactors. This is the Code Chicken Core, which is required for NEI and also for Ender Chest. I've, I'm installing it because I'm using Ender Chest. I've actually chosen not to install NEI. So there you can see the Ender Chest has worked. Press any key to continue. So raise minimap. Ender Chest doesn't actually pop up with a pop up at the moment because the links that are provided on the web page don't actually work. So I had to find a client elsewhere for that. So then it's done raise minimap. Now it's doing equivalent exchange. Well, I guess more correctly equivalent exchange 2. So you can see everything is coming over here and it's working perfectly. Now the Balkans web the yeah, Balkans weapons mod. <coughs> and there you go, you can see that we're now complete. Okay. There has been an error in the install process. Please delete all files and start the install again from a fresh zip file. Okay, so that very obviously means there's been an error. So what I'm going to do now is you can either delete everything and start again. In this particular case, what I'm going to do is run install.bat again. And now what it will do... Ah, uh, okay, so what it has done is it has looked for the files and it has detected that the... Minecraft Forge client file was not saved in the folder where it should have been saved. So it's kicked me back out. The question that I have though is, aha, I made a downloads downloads directory. So that's not an actual issue caused by the mod pack. That was an issue caused by me having this incorrectly configured. Because you can see it saved it to the downloads downloads directory so I've gone and made a bit of a furphy there and put it in the wrong place but what's happened because the installs kicked out now when I restart the install it will detect where it was up to last time and it, it will actually run Minecraft again to make sure you have a correct Minecraft install but if you log in when it runs it'll actually you'll, you'll see that it's already got Minecraft 1.2.3 <clears throat> so this is kind of I guess what you will have to do if there's a problem with the install. What I would suggest is if there's a problem with the install and you can't work out what you've done wrong, that you probably just need to quit. So you can see there Minecraft 1.2.3. So you know the downgrade had, did work. And so MC Nostalgia, I can just quit now because I know that it already worked. Now it's going to tell me that it's already downgraded when I try and downgrade again. So there you go. So now it's going to check with the installer. There you go. It, you can see that it ran through a whole lot of files really quickly, which is decompressing the files that it's downloaded. Now it's going to update the Minecraft jar file. So you can see there that's it copying all the files into the jar that it needs to. Now it's going to update the config files. Now the process is complete. Double click on Minecraft launch.bat to play.
So you press spacebar, and here we are, we're back in the folder. That's been less than 15 minutes, including having to run the installer twice. And now if I double click on the launch.bat, you can see that it runs just a standard run of Minecraft. Click login. <clears throat> it's using the standard unmodified Mojang executable file. Just got to wait a few seconds while it does its thing and it logs in. And then you'll see in the background popping up that all of the mods are installed, all of the textures are set up, and it's running exactly the way that it should. So now if we come in here and create a single player, create a new world, I'll hopefully be able to really quickly demonstrate that it has all of the things that it needs to have. So we've got our mini-map up on the right-hand side. Um, hmm, what can I... Wish there was a way I could just turn this to creative. Actually, what I can do is I can go to the options menu, show you the video settings, show you that it has in fact installed <clears throat> Optifine. Just run this way a little bit. Sorry about the lag, I don't normally play in Camtasia. Um, okay, so there's the flowers from Red Power that shows us that installed correctly. Again, zooming from Optifine. Trying to look to... No, that's not oil. Come on. Just hoping... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's a jungle. Okay, there we go. So we have a jungle to show that it's Minecraft 1.2.3. We have a Red Power tree to show that that's installed. You'll just have to take my word for it that Buildcraft is installed and that Ender Chest and the rest of the mods are installed because right now I can't think of any simple way to show you that they're installed. So uh, I won't actually be providing a link to download this pack and install it straight away. I want to do just a little bit more testing first, but once I've done just a little tiny bit more testing and I know that things are working, I will provide the update link. Ah, there we go. There's a Red Power, uh, an Industrial Craft rubber tree. So Industrial Craft's installed. Giant Cactus. Come on. It's got to be here somewhere. Hmm, nice ravine there. Yeah, so you, again, you'll just have to take my word for it and know that it's installed. Now there are two slight bugs that you'll find. Oh, Red Power Volcano. Yeah, there, there are two slight bugs you'll find when you go to start playing. The first is that the Ray's minimap keys are kind of all over the place. So you'll have to press the M key to bring that up and you'll have to set up the key config to how you like it. I know the Technic Pack automatically configures it for you, but I've decided to leave the keys configured as default. The only thing that I have changed is I've changed the zoom key for Optifine because that's an easy change to make. But you'll notice up on the right hand corner my minimap is zooming in and out frantically as I zoom in and out with Optifine. So that's probably one of the first things that I would suggest that people change. And you can just change that to apostrophe or whatever else you want. And then it's then it's out of your way basically. So that fixes that problem. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, I'm not going to straight away put this pack up for everyone to download. My intention is to just do a tiny little bit more bug testing, and then I will put it up for people to download and try out. If you are interested in helping me out with some bug testing, uh, don't put it in the comments to this video. Uh, send me a yeah, send me send me a PM, and you know let me know basically why you'd like to help out, and I'll be happy to, to send you the files that you'll need so that you can help out with the bug testing of it. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this short video about my, my new pack. Uh, hope to see you all playing my new pack soon. Thanks very much.